Hey, this is Eric Nam, and welcome to my Wired Autocomplete interview. ASMR. How does Eric Nam make music? How do I explain that? I tend to jump into a studio or a session with a producer, and we just talk about our feelings. We get really emotional, and we always latch onto a word like Lost On Me, which happens to be the name of my new single from my new album. But it's like phrases that we use in everyday vocabulary and we're like, what is not lost on you? And then we started talking about relationships and love and like breakups and how we just kind of weave that into the makeup of a song. And then we spend, this is like the weird part out of context that gets really weird, where we just spend time just like humming weird melodies. And then we play it back and then you're like, oh gosh. But then there's always a moment where it's like, Hey, that's not bad. And in this case, it was like, everything about you now is bittersweet, bittersweet. And that's how the songs are made. How many fans does Eric Nam have? How the hell am I supposed to know? I don't know. For me, just the right amount. How many siblings does Eric Nam have? I have two brothers, Eddie and Brian. We're just like any other brother, though we, we do have arguments, we do have our tiffs, but I think that's, any relationship, so it's great. How to text Eric Nam? Well, I'm not gonna give out my real number. Should I? Okay, this is my number. It's 213-267-7391. You, you don't need my number. Who calls or texts anymore? It's all DMs. That doesn't mean slide into my DMs. How to be like Eric Nam? Oh, you mean like how to be like just outrageously good looking, talented, super witty and hardworking, ethical, morally just incomparable person? Singer, songwriter, entrepreneur guy? Dude, I wish I knew. Bye! What did Eric Nam major in? Good question. I majored in international studies with the focus on political science and I minored in East Asian studies. Not that you asked. What languages does Eric Nam speak? I speak Korean, I speak some Spanish, and I speak a little bit of English, and a tiny, tiny bit of Mandarin. So those are my four languages. Here we go, English, hey! Korean, annyeong. Spanish, hola. Mandarin, ni hao. Clearly, I'm fluent in four languages. What happened to Eric Nauman's song? <laughs> Nothing happened. She and I were on a TV show for like nine, 10 months together. And the premise of the show is that we were married on the show, but we remain very good friends. And um, yeah. What is Eric Nam's zodiac sign? I am a dragon. I'm Yuri the Dragon, 88, which I think is pretty badass. My horoscope sign is, what do you think? I am a Scorpio. <laughs> Means nothing to me, so somebody please educate me. What does Eric Nam do for fun? I just drink. <laughs> is that, am I allowed to say that? I can say that, right? I have a good time, guys. I like a good cocktail, I like a good whiskey, I like a good tequila, and I love to eat. I eat a lot of food. There's this thing called Turke Sujebi. Yes, I'll say it again. Turke Sujebi. And it is a perilla seed dough soup. It sounds crazy, but it's delicious. It's like a dumpling soup that makes you feel so good. You're welcome. Next up is when, children. Welcome to the classroom. When did Eric Nam begin making music? Honestly, I started making music in high school and it was like horrible. It was Horrendous. We've purged them from the internet. We've purged everything from the internet. And then I just stopped. And then when I got to Korea, I started writing probably in 2013. When did Eric Nam move to Korea? I moved to Korea in 2011. Pretty straightforward. I, I moved there right after college. Did not know I was going to end up living there and starting a career, but that's what happened. When did Eric Nam become famous? Also in 2011. Unless you count 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, really famous in 2010. Bye. 
Where does Eric Nam shop? I go to the outlets a lot. If you go to the outlet and you, you get there at the right time and you become friends with the people at the outlets, it's a great way to get really cool things that you don't find in the normal stores for a ridiculously cheap price. Don't show up at the outlet though. Like, that's like my secret, okay. Where did Eric Nam grow up? I grew up in the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. I am a Southern dude. I think I miss the four seasons in the sense that in LA, everything is like the same all the time. Where Georgia, you have, it's kind of, it can be extreme heat and really humid, but then you have a nice fall, you have a nice spring, and the winter is cold, but not too cold, but just enough so you feel like it's the holidays and Santa is not gonna show up in like a swimsuit. It's a good mix. Where did Eric Nam live in India? I lived in Hyderabad, India, which is on the southern half of India for about two or three months. I wish I knew more about it. I wish I could impart some wisdom about India, but I think I would do a very poor job at it. Where is Eric Nam going on tour? We have 51 cities confirmed just in the first few months of 2022. Probably to our city near you. You can get tickets at ericnam.com. See you there. Here we go, rapid fire. Is Eric Nam nice? I'm a horrible person. Is Eric Nam in a group? I am not, I'm a solo artist. Is Eric Nam vegan? I like to pretend I am. Is Eric Nam single? I am. Eric Nam, it, this is not a love song lyrics. Give me a minute. This is not a love song, sad I'm going up so. Da -da -da I got it. Does Eric Nam have tattoos? I do not. They're too permanent for me. Does Eric Nam have a light stick? I don't. I, I used to. We've made a light stick once for my fans, and it was my logo on like this house kind of thing. I don't have one. Supply chain issues. We try to make it. Pandemic is real, guys. Supply chain issues. Does Eric Nam play instruments? I poorly play the piano, poorly play the cello, and I can hold a guitar. Does Eric Nam write his own songs? I do. I actually have like 17 elves that do it for me, but I like to just ghost write. They're my ghost writers and I just kind of stick my name on it and you know. Does Eric Nam dance? Short answer, yes. Can I vibe? Hell yeah. Can I body roll? Hell yeah. Can I make weird body forms that people are like, is that safe? Yes. I also have this other one called, for my new album, where I was just feeling myself. We shot the video in Savannah and I was on a boat and I was like, I was doing this thing. I was like, oh, this, this works. Because I... It's a dance. If you don't like it, fight me. Eric Nam, goblin. Are you calling me a goblin? Oh, yes. Okay, my physical album was in an episode of this really, really big smash hit of a K-drama called Tokebi, which is Goblin. So thank you for that. I did not know it was gonna be in it, and it was a great surprise. If you want a physical copy of my new album, go to ericnam.com. Eric Nam hair. What about my hair? Eric Nam aesthetic. I don't know. I think it's just this chiseled jawline, these broad <laughs> shoulders, thick eyebrows and beautifully crafted eyes, nose and lips. And maybe that's the aesthetic. Yeah, that's the vibe. Eric Nam, Tebak Show. Tebak Show is my podcast. We've done probably over 150 episodes. The number one show, period. Except for this one. This one's pretty cool. Eric Nam, Kimchi Chicken Recipe. So, at the beginning of the pandemic, I was bored and I decided to make a cooking video called Nom Noms, where I am making a delicious pot of kimchi jjigae stew. And if you wanna make it, go to my YouTube, check it out. It's really good. All jokes aside, thanks so much for having me. It's been a pleasure getting to share a little bit more about myself and to answer some of your, your most frequent Google searches, but most importantly, please stay healthy, stay safe, be happy, and um, thanks again for having me, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.